I mean, you've, you've always got to pick the school for the major. You always. 100%. You know, we get players, you know, they, they, which, is the best, which is the best school for soccer in California? Who cares? It, it, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't be a question you ask. It's what school has a soccer program and is the best for biology, for right. marketing, for nursing, whatever it is. You know, it should be a question of, I want to study this. I want to play college soccer. I want to go to the best school for this major that also has a good, so- good college soccer program. It doesn't have to be the best program in the, in the country. You know, you can be at that level where it's, you know, it's not going to be a win in the national championship. You know, there are, you know, so few teams every year that even make it to the national championship. So in terms of picking the school, you know, yes, you want to go to the best soccer school that you can think of. But major and academics always has to be the number one factor when choosing a school. And I think players forget that, you know, more often than not. And parents also, you know, they need to be reminded of that when they're looking at these, you know, these scholarships and these Division One. Um, it has to be for the for the academics as much as it is for the soccer. The the question that we always kind of pose to parents and players when they do ask us these questions is, what happens if you get injured? Mm-hmm. You, know, you go out there and you go to this amazing school and you, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about changing my major to go to the school and then, you know, sophomore year, you know, God forbid you get injured, then what do you do? You know, if, if you're looking at changing your major, you know, college soccer is for four years and that's what people seem to forget. It's a four year thing and it's an amazing four years. But after that, it's then what you do with it. Can you use the college soccer to propel you into a great career?